Welcome to another video. In this video, I will be showing you some of the interesting fossils that have been found in the Suleiman Mountains, Baloch tribal area, Dera Ghazi Khan, and Pakistan. What fossils really are? You can say the creatures that had been living on this earth for a long time and under the certain favorable conditions when their bodies are buried under the ground and over the period of time they have turned into the form of stones so their bodies and their bones are preserved perfectly so now in this time the scientists and the people look at those fossils and they judge what kind of life this earth had in the past so the fossils i'm going to show you today they range from the various periods from the Paleozoic era, which is one of the most ancient time beginning of the earth. Because in the beginning of the first three billion years, there was no much life on the earth. And it was like unicellular organisms that have been living on this earth, like algae or some other kind of organisms. And after the Paleozoic era started, it was kind of boom in the life of the creatures living on this earth. And when it ends, it also took away the life of many creatures that had flourished in that particular era. Paleozoic era began at 541 million years ago, and it ended in 251 million years ago. So the Bloch tribal area Dera Ghazi Khan is situated in the west of Great Indus River, which flows from north to south. The Suleiman Mountains are composed of different layers and each layer might be telling the story of the different time period. So the fossils of marine life or the sea creatures that we can find in the Baloch tribal area Dera Ghazi Khan depicts that there had been sea at some times, maybe millions of years ago. Marine creatures that we have found in this area are usually found on the lowest layer of the mountain whereas some of the other mammals or other organisms fossils are also found on the top of the mountain. So this shows that the marine creatures which are found in the bottom of the mountain had been living on this earth millions of years before than the other fossils we found on the top of the mountains. So the first fossils I'm going to show you is the plesiopods. So these are the fossils which are also look like the brachiopods but these are uh, different species and uh, there are two kind actually one of them have vertical lines and the other one has the horizontal lines so they might be the two different species of the same family so these plesiopods existed in this particular area roughly between 200 million years ago till 65 million years ago because uh, these creatures had also been found in some other part of the world and uh, they have predicted or carbon dated these organisms their fossils and uh, they approximated the date of their living so this is what i can tell you from these fossils so the next fossil i'm going to show you is the most interesting one because there is an interesting story attached with it so these fossils which are also kind of little discs and uh, these are called the numilites and which is derived from the word numilus which is a latin word that means coins so these fossils were used as coins in ancient egyptian culture all those blocks from which the pyramids have been constructed in the egypt these blocks of limestone contains the fossils of these nomilites and the most oldest fossil that I have right now are these fossils of the horn corals these are also called the horn corals because they grow like in the shape of horn and uh, these were present in the Paleozoic era which, which is one of the most ancient era in the life of earth so these corals are also called the rugose corals 
which is derived from the word rugosa that means wrinkled so these corals are in wrinkled shape so it also known as solitary or rugose corals and uh, the time period in which they used to live is roughly between 480 million years to 250 million years that is the time period of the Paleozoic era. Another kind of fossil that I am going to show you are these fossils which have lines which originate from its center and it goes till its circumference and these fossils are also known as the button corals because their shapes are like buttons. Another name of these corals are also known as cyclolites and these cyclolites corals had also been found in the Spain and the size of the cyclolites that are found in the Spain are comparatively larger than these ones and uh, the time period they assume in which it was living on this earth was roughly between 85 million years ago and these sort of fossils which are perfectly preserved they tell us the life which was present on this earth millions of years ago so the other fossils that I am going to show you are from the family of gastropods and they also look like snails and uh, this one is more kind of turitella and this one you can say that it is sort of gastropod but both of these have been found at the same place so the time during which these organisms used to live on this earth is roughly between 80 million years ago and now I am going to show you another fossil which is sort of very rare and I couldn't find it on the internet as well many people told me that this is kind of honeycomb or they told me the other names which I tried to find it on the internet and I couldn't find much of the examples of these fossils and uh, these fossils are known as Astrocoenia numisma and these fossils are full of hexagons and it is one of the very beautiful corals that I think I have found because its structure is very geometric and it is very beautiful and now I'm going to show you another fossil whose name is Scaphopod and uh, these shells used to be hollow and there used to be a creature living inside these shells and the lines on these shells are in the longitudinal form and uh, one of the most oldest scaphopod that had been recorded in some museum or in any university that I read on the internet is almost 450 million years old. So I think these creatures still live in the sea today. So this place of the Suleiman Mountains shows that the life signs of the earliest animals that emerged on the earth in the different part of the world it is evident that the life originated in this part of the world as well and more study needs to be done in this regard to find the hidden knowledge thank you